Okay, so if you caught last week's video, we talked all about Later, the platform, and we did a complete walkthrough on how that platform works for scheduling your social media content. So in this week's video, I wanted to do the exact same thing with Planoly. Since I have another video on my channel where I compare both of them and do a versus of Planoly versus Later and which one's better, you can check it out right here. I'll link it um, in the YouTube cards above as well. But in this video, I wanted to go more in depth into Planoly and the different features that it has compared to Later. So let's jump over into my computer and do a full walkthrough of Planoly. Okay, so I've walked into my Planoly dashboard so I can walk through this platform with you together. Now, I personally don't use Planoly to schedule my Instagram content. I use later, but I made a dummy account for you um, so I can walk through this with you together. So if you come up to the right hand side here on the top menu bar, you're going to see kind of a list of different actions that you can use within Planoly. So I'm on the plan page, which is gonna give me the monthly calendar. You can also toggle it from month to week if you want to look at it on a weekly view. Now it also is going to give you some content ideas here. So if you click on this, it's going to tell you a little bit more details of some different Planoly events they have going on, things like that. You can toggle that on and off in your settings here, but some people like to keep that on there. Next, if you go over to drafts, this is a little bit different than later. Um, what it's actually going to do is it's going to allow you to create drafts of your Instagram feed versus having it schedule to your actual Instagram feed. So for an example, you can come up here, you'd have to create a draft. I just made, named mine test. You could come add to drafts and we can choose um, some pictures. I'm just gonna go to my computer here. Okay, so since I uploaded a bunch of different ones, I'm just gonna say upload as 13 posts because we want them all to be individual posts for the purposes of this tutorial here. Perfect, so this could be a test grid. So maybe I wanted to see how all of these posts look together. I wanted to move some things around. I could make this a test view to make sure that all of the different pieces look great together. This could also be really helpful if you're wanting to create multiple different boards at a time. So you could have, you know, this could be January's board, then you could make a February board in here and have nine other photos that kind of fit that description. Then you could have a March here and so on and so forth. So this is really good for creating that brand consistency if you want to set it up as different looking test boards. The next thing over here is Discover. Now, the Discover tool is very similar to the other um, Discover version that I showed you on later. You can also look at free stock photos. So there's a bunch of different stock photos that you could then add to your board as well. So you would just hit that plus button and it would automatically bring this up for you to schedule it. Now, if you come back over to Analyze, this is going to be the analytics with your um, within your account. Now again, because I have just the free version of Planoly and I don't use this personally for my own Instagram account, there's not gonna be any data in this section here, but as you can see, it does tell you that you need to upgrade to the paid plan to see some of this stuff, but this is where you would see all of your likes, comments, impressions, all of that stuff here. Next, if you come over into comments, this is going to be very similar again to the inbox that's in with within later, but it's going to let you comment and tag people that have left comments on your content. So if I click on one of these here, it's going to bring up some different comments that were on my post and I could choose to respond to it here. Again, this would be very, very helpful if you had a virtual assistant that you wanted to have them respond to comments for you without having to give them your Instagram information or have your account on their phone. They could actually come into this Planoly account and respond to comments through this dashboard. So I'm gonna come over to the very last part here where it's called Link It. So what you would do here is you would click on one of these posts here and you would say add to your store. And so this is going to create almost like a little landing page that you can add this link within your bio so that there's each photo is linking to a different product or service that you might have. So this is really, really great if you had a e-commerce store, you could actually toggle over to products and um, see all of that information there. Another nice thing that 
Planoly does for e-commerce based businesses is it actually lets you per people purchase things straight from Instagram. So if you come over to the left hand side here, you have your story of your products, your analytics, and you have payments. So again, I don't have this enabled because I just have this free demo account set up with Planoly right now. But if you wanted to use this as an e-commerce store, you totally could. You could upgrade this and then actually have people purchase your products through your website right through Planoly. So this would be a really, really great conversion tool if you have an e-commerce business or even if you were a kind of coaching business or something like that where you want people to purchase online courses or maybe some bundles on any virtual products like that right through Instagram. So I'm going to come back over to the plan plan section here because I'm going to walk you through some of the features here. So on the left hand side, you're going to see my grid. And if I click on one of these posts, these have all been scheduled already, but you can see when it was scheduled, you can see the caption here. And then if you come down here, you'll see again, some more information about when it was scheduled. But if I wanted to add a post, what I could do is I can come up here to the top where it says add to grid. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to find a photo here that we can upload. So I'm just going to pick this guy here. Next is going to bring up this box. Then we saw this before when we were uploading things into our drafts, but I'm going to say upload as one post. And what it'll do is it automatically adds it to the left hand side here into this grid. And so I could continue to do that, right? I could say my computer and I'm going to upload a different one. Maybe I'm upload that one. Upload as one post and maybe I'll add one more just to have some different things going on here. Okay, so now I have these three unscheduled. That's what the little U at the top left hand corner there means is it's unscheduled. So I could look and say, okay, maybe I want this guy to go here. Maybe I want this guy to go here. All right, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Now it's time to schedule them. So if I click on one of them, I can start writing the caption here. I can also add some hashtags. And now again, you can create groupings of hashtags just like I showed you in later, in the later video um, that I did. And I'll leave a link for that tutorial at the top of this video as well in the YouTube cards. But you can create a group of hashtags here. So you could name this, you know, whatever you wanted it to be. Maybe it was females. And you could write female business owners, online business. You know, continue on just like that, whatever you wanted to write there and use that as a grouping and then just hit that add button and it would add it automatically. Now you can also just manually put in some hashtags as well. The next thing is you can actually set, put that sell it tag right there. Again, I don't have access to it because this is a free, free account, but that's where you would add that. You can add a link to it. You can tag different users. You can also add a location. And then you can also add your first comment to your post as well. But again, that's available on the on the paid plan. Next down here, you're going to see some different options of automatically posting to Instagram, automatically posting to Facebook and automatically posting to Twitter. Now, I like to leave all of those things off because I schedule those all separately um, through different things. And I don't like my posts going out automatically, but those are some options available to you if you would like. The next thing is you can actually schedule the date. So I'm going to pick a date and time. And if you hit quick schedule, again, this is another premium feature, but it'll actually quick schedule all of your content to the best times according to your analytics on your account. So again, just another time saving feature there. Perfect. So if everything looks good there, I can just hit save. And what it's going to do is it's going to change it from that U to an S for scheduled. And now you're going to see that it's on the schedule here, right? on the calendar, sorry, right here at 545 on Wednesday so that I can see that. Now, if I did want to move this around, say I didn't want it to go out on the 10th, I can drag and drop it to another location and that's going to move it to the other time that you wanted it to be scheduled at. The next thing I want to talk about is stories. So Planoly does let you schedule your stories. So if you come up to the top here and say add story, it will let you pick a story for you to throw up. So let's just say that this is a story that I wanted to add. You can go upload as one story. It's going to have the U at the top there because it's unscheduled. If I click on it, I can add anything else that I might want onto there and a schedule. So I'd want it posted out there and hit save. 
So now it's not in the unscheduled section because we actually schedule it. So we'll, we'll need to toggle over to scheduled and that's where you're going to see that guy. Now, if you wanted to get back to your grid view of your actual post, you're gonna to have to go back and hit grid at the top left there. And that's gonna take you back to the grid view of your post. And your story is going to show up right at the top there. The last thing I wanna show you is how to get those drafts onto your actual main feed. Remember the drafts that we did at the very beginning of this tutorial? So I'm gonna come back over to drafts up here. I'm gonna come back to this test. And let's say that this, this is exactly how I want my feed to look now, but I wanna add it to my main feed so that I can schedule them all. You can either just click one and say move, and you can move to grid or move to a different draft. So I could go move to grid and then move, confirm, and that's going to move back over into my grid now. Or what I can do is if I come back over to drafts and I come back over to test, what I can do is if you hover over the actual full test, you can say move to grid and it'll say, are you sure you wanna move all 12 medias to grid? And you say confirm. That's gonna take it out of drafts and put it actually into the full plan. So now you can see that all of those posts are actually in my main grid feed. So again, this is just a really nice kind of planning tool if you wanted to plan it out months in advance and then just drag them over as you want. So it's laid out a little bit differently than later is um, with that drafts tool, but um, some people really like that and that's how their brains work. So just take that into consideration when you're thinking about which one to use for your own business. So there you have it. That's a complete walkthrough of Planoly and all the different tools and things that are inside of that platform. Now, I would love to know in the comments below, what did you think? Do you think that Planoly would be the best option for your business? Or do you think that Later might be better? If you haven't watched my full tutorial on Later, I will link it in the YouTube cards above here as well, but make sure you go over there and watch that full tutorial as well so you can make the best decision for you and your business. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any more questions, please let me know in the comments below, but thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And we'll catch you next week.